Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Circuit Digest. So in this video we are going to discuss about a new hardware that is Raspberry Pi 0W. So as you can see, we have the Raspberry Pi 0W and we are going to set up it completely headless setup. Like we don't need any kind of external monitor, mouse or keyboard to set up the Raspberry Pi 0W for the first time. So in this video, let's get started with the headless setup. So before the setup, let's discuss about the pin description or what on side the, of the Raspberry Pi 0. So we have some GPIO pins here. Then we have a SD card slot. And then we have a HDMI port to connect with the monitor. Then we have a USB port here. And then we have a power port to give uh, the Raspberry Pi power. So here you can see the power in here. Okay. So this is the basic hardware description of the Raspberry Pi 0W. To do the head headless setup, you need a memory card slot or Raspberry Pi 0W and an HD card reader. So this is the memory card that I am talking about and I am using this SanDisk SD card reader. So the memory card is around 16 GB. So connect the memory card with the SD card reader and then let's move towards your PC. In your laptop, open the file manager. Make sure that you have connected the memory card and card reader with your laptop. Then you will need to format your memory card. So click on format and then press OK. So it will format your memory card completely. Then we need to download a software powered by Raspberry Pi that is Raspberry Pi Imager. So just go to the Chrome and just search for the Raspberry Pi Imager. Okay. So go to the Raspberry Pi section and then you can find the Imager under the software section. So we need to download this imager first to set up the OS in the Raspberry Pi. So just download this by clicking on the download for Windows. If you have Mac OS or Ubuntu, so then select as per the version that you have. So I am skipping this part, the downloading part. When you have installed your Pi Imager, so just search for the Raspberry Pi Imager and click on the Raspberry Pi Imager. So it will open a new window just like this. So here you need to select your SD card that you have previously formatted. So at first select the OS that you need to uh, Im image on the SD card. So I am selecting the Raspberry Pi OS that is Raspbian then select the SD card so I am selecting this and then click on the right then click on yes so it is writing the Raspberry Pi OS on the SD card so it will take some time it's near around 10 to 15 minutes so I am skipping this video When you have finished the imager, so you will get a, a continue button. So press on the continue button and remove the card reader of the SD card. So now we have the uh, OS on our SD card. Now we need to set our Wi-Fi SSID and password on the SD card. So to do that, you need to open your uh, file manager and you need to connect your SD card again so I am connecting my SD card so when you connect your SD card it will uh, show you like this just open this up and here you need to create two files one is an SSH and second one is Wi-Fi configuration file so to do that you need a 
some code like this. Uh, let me open it. So you need to copy this uh, for lines into a new file and you need to name that file uh, wp underscore supplicant dot com so let me create a new file on, on in the boot up file here here so i am creating this and naming this as wpa underscore uh, like we have here Then open this file and copy this SSID setup code under the file. So you need to set your own SSID and password here. And if you are from India, so you can set your country code as IN in capital. Okay. There is no need to copy this one again. Okay. You need to copy this thing only so i'm copying this and i will paste this uh, paste this here uh, in the wps applicant.conf file and i'm going to save this file and then we need to create another file named as ssh so to save this i'm creating a new file as a text document and naming this as sh without any extension and then press enter okay so yeah now uh, your wi-fi ssid and passwords is setting it set it up now uh, you can remove the sd card from your laptop so i'm removing this one now let's move towards our raspberry pi zero So I am connecting my SD card to the zero. Make sure that your Wi-Fi is turned on. So I am using my laptop hotspot. So to do that, I am turning on my mobile hotspot of the laptop. Then I am powering up the Raspberry Pi. So I am using a USB cable for this. So I am powering the Raspberry Pi Zero with the USB cable that is connected to my laptop. Before powering the Raspberry Pi, make sure that your Wi-Fi is turned on. So the Raspberry Pi is turned on. Now let's move towards the screen again. Now we need to check the our hotspot that how many device is connected or not. It will take some time to connect with the hotspot, so keep waiting. So in the hotspot section of your laptop, you can see that our Raspberry Pi has been connected and make sure to copy this IP address so the, in our case 192.168.137.74 is the IP address of the Raspberry Pi Zero so now move towards the VNC viewer or you can use mobile XT to get connected with the Raspberry Pi so I am using VNC viewer or I am using mobile XT right now mobile XT is good software to connect your Raspberry Pi it will provide a code, coding section also so in the install the mobile extreme from the you can search on the google for mobile extreme or if you have any problem so you can discuss with the forums how to install the mobile extreme so when you install the mobile extreme you can see this section in my case i have lots of ip addresses free of files but in your case this section will be empty so just go to the session 
and then select SSH. Here you need to uh, enter the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. That is in in our case it is 192 168 .137. Uh, let me yeah so select the SSH and that is 192.168.137.74 and select the port as 22 then press ok uh, then we need to provide the login password so most of the cases we have the default password as pi okay. and the password is Raspberry. So when you enter the pass username and password, so you can see that our Raspberry Pi has been connected successfully. So using the Movex team, you can just easily drag and drop the coding files or any kind of files here from your laptop. So I do this method because it is easy for me. Uh, you can just simply edit your code in your laptop or IDs like. I am using PyCharm to do the Python code and when I have done the Python code so I can easily copy from the file manager of the laptop to the mobile extreme file manager here and it is the files of the Raspberry Pi so you can easily access this from here and this terminal is the Raspberry Pi's terminal so if you uh, press sudo update here sudo apt-get update so it will update the raspberry pi 0 it will take some time for the first time update and make sure that you have done this update when you are first time booting up the raspberry pi so let's waiting for some time and I'm skipping this one when the update has been done then you need to uh, give a command sudo and get upgrade okay so this time it will upgrade your uh, latest softwares or versions it will take uh, one to two seconds okay press yes or y then just wait for some time I am skipping this part when the upgrade process is completed then you need to set up the config file for your VNC viewer so to do this just type the sudo press pi config and press enter it will open the configuration software tool of in your raspberry pi so then you need to uh, go to the interface options then you need to select vnc and then you, you need to enable this and then press enter to ok and then you need to click on finish when you will click on finish then the, your Raspberry Pi 0 will restart it. Okay. Now we need to restart this uh, the Raspberry Pi. Okay. So this is the basic headless setup of the Raspberry Pi 0W. Thank you so much for watching this video.